Hello there, and welcome to the Samurai Run. It is about time. <laughs> yes, hello, and welcome to the Samurai Run. This has been a work in progress for a while, right? Uh, Samurai, yes, let's get straight into it. Unique Speed Skull. I love Samurai, he's fantastic. He always has the single slash skill, the one you see at the bottom left. And his attacks, the second thing that he does, his attacks always leave marks on enemies. So you can see this little effect building up above the enemy's head, those little bluish green marks. Uh, the single slash ability itself will slash enemies in a path and deal damage to the enemy based on how many marks are on the target. So the more marks that you stack up, the more damage. You can see he has five complete marks. So when we do the slash, it does good damage and uh, removes the marks. The other ability that he has is Quick Slash, which does five little rapid slashes. And you can see those also put marks on the enemy. All of his attacks will put marks on the enemy so that his single slash does big damage. And unless I'm mistaken, it's kind of a hidden effect that doesn't really say in the description anymore, but the single slash should always crit from what I understand. Like, it doesn't have a, a chance to not crit. <laughs> His uh, swap in, uh, pretty basic. He does a big slash and moves forward, puts lots of charges on the enemy. Single slash, brilliant. Relatively simplistic for now, let's go. Oh, the slashes, I love it. Uh, so Samurai is a speed skull that dominantly deals, I think actually entirely deals in physical damage. Um, he has many different abilities. They're all really cool. Like the single slash. Ugh, feels so good. Uh, but the way that we're going to build him in this run is, like I said, uh, pretty much pure physical with uh, lots and lots of damage. And speaking of damage, we have the standard issue bow. Um, items, I have the explosive ointment and the sword. So I'm going to take the bow now, just in preparation for in case... I come across the insignia so I can get more money because my strategy is to dominantly play this as just samurai and we had to have the ninja fight here ninja versus samurai what a fantastic fantastic fight to get to uh, go into oh really doing your ultimate are you really you can't hit me I'm a samurai I'm amazed he didn't break at any point during all of this, but you know what? Slash. Die. Give me that big juicy health orb. And what we get is... Ooh. Gargoyle Slime Raven Monarch's Feather. I, I suppose the smart thing to do would be to destroy the Raven Monarch's Feather. It's not a bad item. It's a good item. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to be focusing as much as I can on Samurai himself. And destroying this for the 800 gold would be very good. But I'm going to destroy Gargoyle instead for the 11 bones and try and upgrade Samurai as soon as possible. This uh, right trigger attack as well, the five quick cuts, uh, is a new skill. If you're familiar with Samurai from early access, then it would be a little bit alien to you. Yes, it is a new ability. So I feel as though this is pretty good for people who are returning skull players from early access. You get to see the new, the new fun stuff that Samurai gets. And uh, as you can see, you don't have to always stack the uh, the slash effect to maximum before you do the final slash. You can kind of just do a little bit because most enemies are probably going to die. <laughs> most enemies will probably die very, very uh, early on in the run. You don't need to max it out. Okay, Yggdrasil, you are in so much trouble. You have no idea the trouble that you are in. Because we have Samurai. Cut him. Cut him. Cut him. Oh, how did I... How did I... Oh, I got so distracted. I was too busy cutting him. I didn't even stop and try and dodge. Give him the cuts. Give him the cuts. Now, unless I'm mistaken, Samurai's marks... Oh, cut him. Yes. They disappear when he goes into phase two on Yggdrasil. So, I may as well use it, you know. Use it before you lose it. Logic. I can get maximum stacks on him. Fantastic. And so now we can yeah, hit him with that big cut. Look at that. Eat his life. Eat his life away. Slash him. I should get up here. Oh, he's doing the ground slam. Ow. I haven't seen him do the ground slam in a while. He doesn't do this super frequently. Slash. 
You are done, Yggdrasil. Rest easy, big tree. Rest easy, big tree. And give me your loot. What do you give me? Vampire Fang? I demand far better loot than Vampire Fang. I'll forgive you for now. Okay, Act 2. Also an area that has no chance of... What happened? I did my final slash and I think she stunned me in the middle of the attack and prevented me from actually getting it out. That was weird. Hello? Peasants OP? Peasants OP? All right, all right, all right, all right. You win this one, you win this one. But you won't win the second one. Maid ladies. No, die. Skull is a ghoul, no. Thank you for your noble sacrifice though. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Imagine standing in front of a trap that's going to work against you. Come on, shoot. Oh, slasher. Yes, look at that, big damage. Samurai can really pump out some damage. Oh, that was disgusting. All right, in the shop, do we have some physical items? <gasps> I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Orc, we have Orc. That's it, Quintessence discovered. Orc is exactly what I want for this kind of a run. I, I can't, I can't emphasize my excitement anymore. I would really like to get the thorny boots for that extra physical, but I just, I can't. Uh, instead, we'll swap out little skull, get the gargoyle so that we have uh, some extra bone fragments on offer. Let me eventually destroy Gargoyle. <laughs> but, uh, I really want Orc because, uh, you know what? You know what? No spoilers. I'll explain why I want Orc when Orc comes into play. Anyone familiar with Samurai already probably already knows why I'm excited. Uh, don't be spoiling it for everyone else. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Da -da 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 -da. Die. Oh, it's so fun. I love this new attack. It has a little bit of recovery to it, like you do stand there for a second, but it's really fun. Come on, look at it. It's fun. And... Slash! Die, big man. <gasps> I stood in the way of it. I was too busy watching the coolness that I just did. I didn't even stop and consider that I was about to be attacked. Stop. Stop. Oh, 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 oh right in front of him. There we go. It's, it's okay, it's okay. We took some damage, but it's okay. Hunter's boots, fantastic. Uh, Hunter's boots are going to make it so that when we dash, little arrows land on the ground. Fantastic. I love it. Don't you love it? I love it. Hello, adventurers. Hello, ladies. Hello. Can you teleport for me? Thank you. Do the slash. Do this. I'm going to do my best to hit both of these ladies with a big slash at the same time. Lady. Lady. She's not coming over here. I want... Yes, yes, yes. Do it, do it, do it, do it. No, she teleported. Stupid priest girl. Die. What? Wow, that was a one shot. Well, not a one shot, but that did a lot of damage. <laughs> if she hadn't teleported, I would have hit them both with that. Ah, Typical. Typical. But you know what? Orc is almost off cooldown again. Don't go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. See what happens. See what happens. Oh. Oh, oh, oh look, nothing happened because you suck, orc, slash, die. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? We get uh, nothing exactly special. Let's destroy Sorty Boy and move on. <laughs> Fragments. <laughs> A couple more skull rooms and we will be there. I can't wait. Legendary Samurai is really cool. You fool, you're trying to dodge this? You're trying to block? You're trying to block against this kind of power? How d oh, 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 I'm getting hit, I'm getting hit, I'm getting hit. Getting hit, not surviving. I'm taking way more damage than I should be. But that's just kind of like what happens when I play Samurai. I'm very reckless. I'm very, I'm very, I, I don't know. What's, what's the word? Oh yeah, stupid. <laughs> I don't seem to try very hard to avoid damage. I kind of just go in with Samurai. And I shouldn't, but you know what? I'm doing it anyway. You can't stop me. I will continue to do what I do. Yeah. God, that slash is so cool. And it will only get cooler. Believe it or not, there are people out there who just don't like samurai. Can you imagine? I can't. Oh, Ryder. Yes, yes. Thank you for your sacrifice. Uh, to me, samurai just oozes style and awesomeness. Um, but yeah, people out there don't like him. 
for whatever reason. To each their own. You're free to, uh, you're free to make your own mistakes. Come on now, stop this. You're trying to, oh, trying so hard, oh. God, he's so moving. He's just schmoovin. I'll kill you with dashes. How about that? Kill you with dashes. Skull is mummy. Fantastic. That's the last one that we need. We now have enough fragments to ensure. Legendary Samurai. In the shop, we have Broken Mana Engine. We have Elemental's Blessing. And we have Bottled Embers. I'm thinking Broken Mana Engine, but at the same time, I don't really need it. I'm going to skip it and re-roll in the shop and get trash. Let's just move on. It's fine. I got unlucky. Money wasted. But you know what? Sometimes you just get unlucky. Do some slashes. Do some big cuts. Oh, big damage. Big damage. Big damage. I love it. No, dude. Now, it may seem as though Samurai isn't doing lots of damage. Part of the problem with that is that my build right now doesn't have a lot of physical on it. It does want, you know, a lot of physical attack. He's kind of like... Him and some of the other speed skulls that focus, like, majorly on uh, physical damage are kind of like power skulls without the big raw bang that power skulls often come with, you know? So instead of Berserker and Predator who do just big damage on their own despite not having any items, uh, Samurai wants items to start really shining. The positive to this, though, him being a speed skull, you know, kind of obviously is that he has better mobility and better survivability, which... I'm not demonstrating that well because I'm still getting hit by a lot of stuff, but he does. He, he does. He has that good dash. Stop healing her. I know I should go up here and kill these guys first, but, you know, part of the fun is to still kill them anyway, despite them healing. Oh, it's such a good attack. It has such good range. All right. All right. I think it's... Ow. I, ow. Thank you. Uh explosive ointment. I I meant to get hit there. I'm trading life for damage. It's all going according to plan. We do need... Ow, dude. Ow, dude. Oh my god. Okay, gotta start playing smart. We are going to have to get some more uh, physical power soon, though, just to, you know, actually finally start doing some damage. Grudge Stone isn't going to help with that, but, you know, it's, it's okay for now. It's okay for now. I can live with it. I can live with it. Okay, sisters, allow me to show you true swordsmanship. Ignore the gargoyle. You'll understand in a moment. You'll understand very soon. Uh, do the thing. Ha! Samurai is here. No. Slash. Ah, oh, activate orc. Do big slash damage. No, don't hit me. If you hit me while I've got this active, it'll do a lot of damage to me. Nope, getting away from that. Okay, Orc is off. I'm not at risk of being one shot anymore. For anyone who's unsure, because I didn't explain it, I just assume people know what Orc does by now because I've used it a lot. Orc makes me deal double damage when I activate it. That was weird. That, that... Yeah, alright, that was weird. Orc makes me deal double damage when I activate it, but I also take double damage. It's one of the only items that has a true double-edged sword effect in the game. Similar to Pineapple Pizza, which is a healing item that heals you for 40% life, but makes the enemies in the next room not stagger. So they all basically have hyper armor. Very uh, nasty effect. I'm not going to attack just yet because I'm scared about Orc getting me killed. Oh, oh. There we go. Uh, but yes, Orc is a little bit risky. But you know what? The risk is worth it when you do the kind of damage that we will be doing soon. Not just yet, but soon. It's a nice... <gasps> oh, I dashed. That was mean. That was mean. That one was not in my favor. I've lost a lot of life, haven't I? I need to stop being reckless. You know what? Slash. This fight is over. Explode. Yes, run away. Look. Oh, look, they died... Did they die on top of each other? Look, their helmets are overlapping. That's cute. Aw. Die together. And the time has come, finally, for Samurai to ascend to his legendary form. I'm excited. You should be excited. Greatness is upon us.
Yes, the legendary samurai himself, the Neo Samurai. He still always has the single slash. When attacking enemies, he still leaves a mark on enemies that builds up to five, the same as before, so we can stack up to five. They're nice and red now, looks cool. The change to his single slash is that now, if you do it on enemies that have maximum stacks, the cooldown is reset immediately. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So now we can add stacks, do a slash, add more stacks, and do a slash again. His gameplay has now been sped up immensely. This is a fantastic change to Samurai. The quick slash ability, you probably saw me doing it just then, performs multiple slash attacks, cannot be seen due to their speed. This is a very, very rare type of attack because despite whatever you're doing, it comes out. It actually is like independent of your character. It will come out and do its attack. You, you don't stand still. There's no there's no animation for it. You can do it whenever you're doing just about anything else. It just kind of happens and just kind of works. It's very unique. So I can be in the middle of dashing, double dashing, and activate it. It's, it's an incredible ability. It doesn't do insane damage, but just from a utility perspective, and the fact that it still builds marks, it's a very strong move. Neo Samurai's swap is also greatly improved as he now slashes in like an area in front of him multiple times. It's, it's incredible. It's fantastic. It, it also adds marks. Everything he does adds marks. Now, the keen-eyed amongst you, or just those who've played Samurai before, will know that there is a meter that builds up down below his health. It goes to a thousand, and when that gauge is full, he gains access to the full moon slash, which is an upgraded form of his single slash. You can use it once, and then the meter is emptied, and then you've got to build it back up again. He performs a slash in a straight line, dealing physical damage, emptying the gauge. All marks disappear when the weapon is sheathed, and the skill's damage inflicted is greatly increased based on the number of marks. So you want to get to five marks on an enemy to do the biggest damage that you possibly can. For example... Disgusting. It's disgustingly cool, it's disgustingly powerful, it's amazing, it's incredible. And as a little fun fact for everyone out there, the target dummies have actually gained a new purpose. Because if you attack the target dummies, you can build the meter on them. Look at that, the meter is going up. The meter is actually quite large and takes a while to build. They don't want you to use this full moon slash willy-nilly constantly. But uh, that's not going to stop us from being able to build the meter by attacking dummies. And we're just about done. There we go. Look at that. We have full moon slash meter built up once again. Oh, gee, goodness. I, I wonder who I can kill with my new cool full moon slash attack. Uh, maybe you. Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. I love it so much. This is also where Orc comes into play because Orc doubles the damage that we deal when it's active. Uh, Full Moon Slash is hitting very hard. And in the chest, we've, we've picked up Infinite Bone. Um, not the most mandatory thing <laughs> on Samurai, because his, uh, his final Slash does have its cooldown reset whenever you use it on people who have full stacks. However, it is going to reset the cooldown on our, uh, what's it called again? Quick Slash. Um, which is very nice and very handy to have. And also, if we do decide to start doing some single slashes without fully building the charges, yeah, it's just a nice little quality of life thing. Unnecessary, but it's a nice quality of life thing. Hello, fools. Oh, the single slashes. Oh, it's power. It's just power. No. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. No. You must all die. Perish. 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 Okay, in the shop, what do we... Oh, what What do we have here? Oh, what do we have here? Oh, well, well, dashing increases physical attack by 100% for a single second. Well, well, that just sounds great. Let's try that out. We also have Gunpowder Sword that upon a successful crit, it does an explosion that deals physical damage. Well, golly, unless I'm mistaken... Our single slash does nothing but crit, so this just seems like a no-brainer. Let's get rid of the grudge stone. Fantastic. Gonna do a quick shop re-roll. Oh, look at that. Is that thorny boots that gives me a 25% boost to physical damage as well? Fantastic. I'm gonna get rid of 
the Berserker's Gauntlets because I just don't care about Madness on this build right now. Madness Samurai does work um, fairly well. However, I just, I'm not bothered by that right now. Instead, I want, oh, some damage. I want that damage though. So if I dash and then do my quick slash, we get the big damage. Now, if I, if I, yes, big numbers, big numbers, juicy numbers. Oh, this is so good. No, no, you're foolish. You're foolish if you think that you can fight me. The Neo Samurai. Oh, hello, fools. Hello, hello. Welcome to die. Oh, oh, they're trying. They're trying so hard. They're trying so... Are you trying up here, Mr. Mr. Alchemist? Don't. Look at that. Look at that damage. Now that we have some extra power going for us, the Quick Slash is doing really well. This is what I was saying earlier. We just need to get some items to boost the damage. Oh, and things just start melting. They just start falling apart. Um, I'm just going to do this now because I see no reason not to. Oh, 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 get the item, get the item. Raven Monarch's Feather, I don't care about that. What I might do instead, though, is come down here and rescue this guy. Hello, dude. How much are you going to charge me? 560? What did you give? Foolish Samurai Warrior, do you truly believe you will be able to escape your fate? He is coming. His rage is unquenchable. His will is irrepressible. You will kneel and beg for mercy like so many before you. And just as he did with the others. He will deny you. Well, well I mean, like, Shade's not, not a bad item or anything, but we... <laughs> we... We... We don't need it for this run now, do we? <laughs> Nor do we need Raven's Feather. Let's... Let's, let's just leave, shall we? Now, adventurer fight time. I am so excited. Oh, it's the priest girl, too. Oh, priest girl. You are in danger. You are in... No, no, get away. You are in danger, priest girl. We're gonna get some sla... Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. We have marks. We have marks on one. I want marks on the second one. Don't. Give me marks, give me marks, give me marks. I don't care if she heals. I'm not worried about her healing them. Okay, full marks. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to do two things at once. We're going to dash to activate Hero's Holy Sword. We are going to activate Orc. Oh! I don't even think I had my... my... Oh, oh, oh. She's looking at me. I don't think I even had my Hero's Holy Sword. I think it, it fell off in between that attack. But that was... That was kind of gross, I'm not going to lie. Oh, that was... Disgusting. What do we have over here? Ghoul, Imp, Nias' Heart. No. We don't need any of that. We don't need any of that. You know what we do need? Damage. I want more power. Give the Samurai more power. He demands more power. He craves more power. That is the only thing that he wants right now, is just more damage. Uh, stupid, because I can come over here and push you into the spikes. What a foolish alchemist you are. This is why alchemy was a mistake. <laughs> this is why alchemy was a mistake. No, no. All right, you guys, you guys are being kind of annoying now. Stop, 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 stop. Die puppies, die puppies. Thank you. Hello, lads. Perish. God, the, the quick slash is doing so much damage after a dash now. Hero's holy sword is turning it into a one hit kill move. It's, it's quite amazing, just how useful it is. Grab the money, move into the shop. What's in the shop? What do we have? What are you going to give me? Going to give me something good? Eh, uh, not really. This is all kind of meh. I don't really care about any of this. So let's re-roll. Uh, don't really care about any of this either. Let's re-roll one more time. Okay, come on. What's going on here? Re-roll again. Please! <laughs> they are. Oh, there's Thief Farmer. <laughs> Thank you. I was talking about Thief Farmer. Thank you. Let's get rid of the Vampire Fang. 
It's unironically helped us a little bit with the healing, but I don't need it anymore. Hop in a skip. Move that over that room. We don't need to do that room at all. Let's leave. I don't need the, uh, the spirit. Now, moving into this Chimera fight, we have Full Moon Slash already loaded up and ready to go. We have the Hero Sword, we have Orc, we have Power on our side. I'm going to swap to Gargoyle, and I'm going to try and land, at the moment, with my current items, the biggest Full Moon that I can. Let's see if I can make that a reality. Alright, activate Orc, dash, Moon. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no! That's not allowed! Um... It's dead? Ouch! That... was disgusting! Mana attack dagger? No, I don't care about mana attack dagger. Let's go, let's go! Hello, boys! I am here to commit atrocities against you. I am here to slay. I am here to destroy. I am- I'm here to kill. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm here to kill. Is that okay? Can I come here to kill? Slash. Oh, those poor statues. Those statues have families, I'm sure of it. Oh ho ho! Item is explosive arrow. Nah, the explosive arrow, it, it's it's good, but I don't need it for this build. I don't need it. Okay, so by the looks of it, whenever you do the full moon slash, the buffs and debuffs that you've got are still ticking in real time. So the hero's a holy sword, only lasting one second, is actually running out before it gets a chance for the damage to actually, like, tick in. So, I mean, it's a good item for just doing normal damage, but... It's not exactly helping our full moon slash damage. All this means is that we need to get other items that are going to give us the same effect. And did I just push that guy off the side? Please tell me you died. He did die. He, he killed himself, turned into a tentacle, and then slapped me. Item is... Priestess's Veil. Mm. You know, it's actually not bad because it has a chance of increasing physical attack at the same time. So I might get rid of Explosive Ointment. I mean, we've had that since the start. We can get rid of it now. Oh, hello, ninja. Hello, no oh, more importantly, hello, giant's axe. Fantastic. Finally. Finally. I just want raw damage. So, because the full moon slash always crits, we don't need any additional critical strike. Really, I'm going to get rid of the bow and do a reroll and not get anything that I want. Fantastic. We can go. Yeah, hello, little candle dude. Oh, see that damage. Quick slash does a lot of damage. Quick Slash is doing so good for us right now. Yeah, Slash! It's so cool. You move. Move on him. Move on him. Ah. Oh. No, Slash through them. Kill them. I know I, I didn't get the full Slashes. I just wanted to kill them before they could kill me. However, it didn't work out that well because now I'm stuck down here fighting this guy. And I don't have my final Slash on deck. up dude are you gonna live long enough for me to do it uh barely but still worth it because the cooldown is reset instantly fantastic let's move on hello more victims for my ow for my sword yo double spear launching rudeness slash okay npc you better give me something good give me some physical increases crit rate I don't need crit rate. That's the one thing I don't need. I sold my bow for a reason. Oh my god. Damn, that does... Damn, damn, it just... It, oh. I don't know what else to say about it. it. It's just doing big damage. It's just doing too good. Master Fighter. Oh, what a glorious day it is. Let's get rid of the Hunter's Boots. I don't need that extra passive damage. I just need the big booms. The big boomy boom booms. Okay, we're ready. This is what we prepared for. The Adventurer fight in Act 4. I have Full Moon Slash on deck. It's going to be a one-on-one -on -one fight, so Master Fighter is active. And it's the Paladin guy. Fantastic. I am going to hit this man really, really hard. That's my strategy. Simple as that. Hello, dude. Okay. Activate Orc. 
Oh! <laughs> 10,000 damage. Yo, we just obliterated this man's health pool. Just obliterated your... Take that. Oh my god. This is the paladin guy. This is the guy who has a lot of life. This guy has a lot of HP. Oh my... Oh my god. That's disgusting, dude. That is disgust. Ah! This is this is broken. This is stupid. Look, and you give me Reaper now. You give me Reaper now, Ifrit. Hunter's boots. You know what? I'm selling the boots. I'm sorry, Reaper. I'm sorry. I know it's it's like it's basically a crime to do what I just did. But no. No, 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 no. I don't need. I don't need right now. What I do need is for this guy. To die. They're actually kind of like... They're not dying, dying, but they're getting very close to dying before I even have a chance to get marks on them now. Like, they're so low on life by the time they get full five marks. It's it's not like it's not worth doing the full slash, the final slash rather, the single slash. I keep getting the name wrong. I call it final slash a lot because it just seems like a cool name for it. Because, you know, I'm ending them. It is the final slash. Ah! I went right into that and took a big 40. Did you see that? I slashed through him and got hit with a big 40 damage. I'm an idiot. Don't do what Beals do. Don't do that. If you're going to do the big cut, just, just be patient and wait for them to be done with their attack. God, it's so cool. You know what? Cut the boulder. I don't need the boulder for this. Watch out for the spear, dude. Gonna do it again. Gonna do it again. Oh. Slash. I missed. <laughs> Doesn't matter. He died anyway. Oh, hello, dude. Do you want to turn? If I dash first, I get that 100% damage from Hero's Holy Sword, and you just get blown up, dude. You got blown up. It's so powerful. It's so powerful. Walking through enemies. Rock. Didn't hit you? That sucks. Oh! Doing big numbers. Big numbers. Die. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, dead. Grab the item. It is Ninja Mask. Ninja Mask doesn't really work with Samurai from what I understand. So I'm going to leave it and just move on. Uh, yo, hello. Double Spirits in the shop. Hello. Hello there. Hello, Spirits. You doing well? Let's do a reroll. Ah, Silphid Wings, Diorite, and Mage's Mana Bracelet. No, I want raw damage. I want... No, I want... Give me damage. Aha! Brawler's Knuckle, Explosive Arrow, and Thieves Black Steel Dagger. Okay, this is this is a tough decision because Thieves Black Steel Dagger is all about, like, it's the best item in the game. I've said it before, it's the best item in the game. However, we are always critting with our Slash. Look, even if we've got little baby stacks, it always crits. It just always crits. It's like a rule. But it will make our basic attack and our quick slash, which is doing a lot of work for us, and our shurikens, it'll make everything else basically crit as well. I'm just uncertain if I want to do that. You know what? The first thing I'm going to do is get Brawler's Knuckle, because this is a no-brainer. I need to get Brawler's Knuckle on deck now, and I might get rid of the Priestess's Veil, because for all that it's a good item, it's very uh, conditional. I might get rid of Infinite Bone. And I know what you're saying. What? Get rid of Infinite Bone? You're insane. Yes, I am. I don't need cooldown resets necessarily because of my big final slash. I want damage. Let's go. Let's go before people get really mad at me because I just got rid of Infinite Boner. Okay, we're gonna stack up the crits. We're gonna stack up as much of this big critty damage as we possibly can. Let's go. Let's go. We need to break this. We broke it? Good. Let's go. Let's go. Look at this. It's damage time. Need to stack up some marks on Big Man. Is he about to die? Uh-oh. We've entered a problem. Uh, enemies are now dying so quickly thanks to our crit and our power. I can't get full marks on enemies to do the full moon slash. I, I can't. This is... This is not good. Item is... Holy shit! 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 All right, all right, I get it. I understand. Infinite Boner came back, but look, look. Physical damage, physical damage, physical damage. Synergy with crits, which we're now getting a lot of thanks to the Thieves Black Steel Dagger. There's no internal cooldown on this. Big damage. Technically not that much damage. What's Thief Armor doing for us? Wait. Wait, I can get rid of Thief Armor. Yes! 
Infinite Boner is back. Infinite Boner is back. Let's go. <laughs> oh, the redemption arc that you didn't know you needed. That I didn't know I needed. God, this room is annoying, isn't it? These rooms that have these like little little baby enemies that just run around and their sole purpose is to be a nuisance so that you can't sit still for too long. I guarantee you, I guarantee you the guy who thought up this room is the exact same dude who conceived of the rooms. Oh, you're so annoying. Please die. Please all of you die. No, don't jump at me. You boo wannabe statue thing. Is it open yet? Thank you. Destroy this. No. Oh, he disappeared. He disappeared along with it. Item. Oh. Hunter's Wooden Longbow increases crit damage by 50%. That, that includes Full Moon Slash. Oh. My. God. Infinite Bone is getting kicked out again. Redemption Arc? No. Redemption Arc ignored. Ha ha ha. Bet you didn't expect to see two huge mistakes in the same... That guy just died before he could summon. That guy died before he could summon. That's a lot of damage. If you can do that kind of damage, you'll... Damn, that's a lot of damage. What? That's a lot of damage. What's going on here? It looks like the boss room coming up, so I'm not going to full moon in this room. I'm going to save it. Full moon takes a bit of time to, to, to add up. So we're just going to kill them normally. Nice and normally. Die. Thank you. Cleanse. Old man, I don't need to speak to you. Let's uh, go in. Oh, no. Increases projectile damage. I don't need this. Now, I know what people are going to say. When are you going to do the full moon slash? Are you going to use it in phase one or phase... Okay, Gargoyle, be weird. Or phase two. I'm going to use it in phase two. All right. I'm going to use it on her. I don't want to use full moon slash on statues and, and pillars and these little baby enemies. Look at the damage we're doing anyway. Look at this. It's broken. We don't even need full moon slash to get through this phase. We don't even need it. Ah, uh, damage, power, lasers. No, thank you. Explodey do. Die. Die. Got a statue coming in from the other side. I don't want the statue to come and touch me. Oh, something touched me though. Oh, it's candle dudes and explodey dudes. It's a mess on my screen. Yo. I don't like you. Go. Oh, go away. The candle dudes in this fight are like the worst thing. The statues are annoying, but the candle dudes are so much worse. Not another... Stop beaming. Stop beaming. Beaming is rude. No one likes you and your stupid beam. Don't do that either. Yeah, I saw what you were doing. Yeah, can we kill this thing now? Thank you. All right. Oh, you still get to do this attack because you... Oh, that was rude. All right, here we go. We're going to obliterate this woman. We're going to obliterate this woman. I need to get stacks. Stacks done. Full slash. Yo, we're in front of a moon. We are literally sitting in front of a full moon right now, just after effectively one-shotting Joan. Yo. This is a different kind of euphoria. That was... incredible. In the shop we- <gasps> Rear Blast is in the shop? I don't have any money. What can I sell? I could sell Gunpowder Sword for Rear Blast. So I just realized the mistake that I made. I just sold off my gunpowder sword and picked up rear blast, but I forgot that I got rid of my thief armor a little while ago. Like, I genuinely thought I still had it. However, I'm still proccing rear blast from what looks like demolition. Um, but that's not consistent enough, which it's kind of a bummer. Okay, so this is that part once again where I thank you for watching. I thank you for getting this far into the video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing Samurai be an absolute monster on the screen. Um, look at this. This is this is just silly, isn't it? Slash. They're all gone. Um, 
yeah, this is a, a physical samurai run. The real winners of the run, as far as items are concerned, are Orc and a bit of a late entry, but Hunter's Wooden Longbow is giving a, a, an extra 50% damage to the single slash, uh, or the full moon slash, whichever you want to call it. Um, ridiculous. Obviously, uh, Master Fighter, um, Ease Black Steel Dagger, uh, Rear Blast isn't doing that much for us right now, but the rest of the physical items, we've got a lot of physical boosters. And, uh, yeah, I'm kind of... <sighs> I'm looking forward to this. Let's go. Hello, hero. I've come to claim your head with my full moon slash. Prepare yourself. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, hero. What can you do, hero? What can you... I missed. What can you... No. No. Oh, nice. Nice. My, uh... My mirage triggered. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do it here. I'm gonna do it on this phase. Ready? Let's... Let's... Let's size this up. Do it. Samurai is sick. Full moon slash does big damage. A Lamau get cut. Oh, 16k! Almost one shot his first phase. I don't believe the damage. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't see what buffs I had. Was, was rear blast active. 16k. Broken. Broken. Absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous damage. Slash. Oh, he doesn't care. Of course he keeps going, even when I'm doing my really cool slow-mo slash. Slash. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to have enough... Like, get the chance to activate another full moon. At least not on this phase. Maybe, like, uh, the next phase? I don't know. Oh, not with that kind of damage. Uh-oh. You avoided it. Very slick of you. Very slick of you. I, I thought I had more time. Ow! Can you not? I'm the guy who kills you, not the other way around. This is where Quick Slash's, like, special nonsense comes in, that it can, like, activate while I'm dodging and doing other stuff. You can see I'm kind of just moving around. Oh, yes. Go, go. It's kind of a, a, a dumb meme on my stream. You know, hero, do tackle attack. <laughs> Slash, he's done. <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't believe it. This damage was was disgusting. If I one shot his first phase, if I had full moon slash for this last phase, it's it's overkill. I'm only like halfway there too, aren't I? I don't have enough damage. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not that I have enough damage. He doesn't have enough life. Um, I can't. He's just going to die, isn't he? What if I do this? 4k? Nasty. Nasty damage. That's just... Slash. Rest. Rest now, hero. Alright, one more for the road. One more for the road. Oh, so cool. And there you have the full physical crazy damage samurai run. I was missing maybe like one or two little like fiddly extra items here and there, but for the most part it was a complete build. That was some insane damage. But with all of that said and done, I gotta get out of here. I hope you enjoyed. I most certainly did. And I will see you next time. Have a good one.